going to do a little demonstration on how to operate the seagull puppets. Um, I left the body fabric off of this puppet so that we can kind of see what's going on, how the mechanisms are working. So you can put your arm underneath this armrest here. I would kind of like to use my right hand just because I'm right handed, but you could use either hand to go underneath. And you're going to grab the handle. Now you can see the handle here has uh, multiple parts. Uh, the first part here is just um, it's going to turn the head and also move it forward and back. It's just a, uh, a piece of plywood is connected through this ball and socket joint in the neck. Okay, so this is running through. This trigger here, the second piece that you squeeze this way, that tilts the head up and down when you squeeze it. The third piece is this piece here, and this is the opening the beak. So you can see how that's done with your pointer finger, finger on the side of the trigger. So that's one hand operating the head and kind of supporting the weight of the puppet. It also kind of rests on your shoulder and on your arm. So it kind of goes the whole length of your arm. The tail can kind of go behind your, behind your back there. Uh, so then the other hand is going to operate the wings. This handle here connects to the rods, which connect to the wings. Now the wings are um, uh, triple jointed. Uh, there's several joints inside the, the wings here. Um, and so they fold up when you pull the rods. They fold closed and then open out. And then you can also flap them and then do other things. But the general opening and closing to fold the wings, you're going to pull down on this handle. And I'm kind of push, actually pushing the handle forward a little bit towards the front of the puppet. See that? And that, so the wings close kind of, they overlap over the back of the puppet and keep pulling and then, and then the wings slide to the side and then you can release the rod kind of behind, underneath your arm there to kind of pull up. And that, that lets the wings kind of rest in, in a better position. Um, now, and when you open up the wings, similarly, you want to push forward with the rod. So I kind of put it in front of my body. I'm pushing forward as I'm pushing up. And that opens up the wings. So down. And up. Now if I don't push forward, if I just pull back, you'll see what happens is the wings don't want to fold completely. They kind of kind of just go down. And this is useful if you're flying. You can pull back more and that's flapping the wings down in a nice way. But if you pull forward, you see that pivots the wings backwards. So it's a little bit uh, a little bit of a nuance on, on where you pull this handle here, but basically forward folds the wings. And if I'm pulling backward on the handle, it's just going to pull the wings down. So let's talk about uh, the, the head a little bit. So the head can go, if you just release, release the side trigger, the head will fall down, you squeeze it, the head pulls up, just like that. Okay, now if you want the, the mouth to talk, you can kind of put a little pressure right here on that side trigger and pull back with the head trigger. So the, the, you're kind of keeping the bottom jaw 
for moving and then pulling the head back. And you can kind of use those in conjunction. So you can pull down on the, on the beak trigger and pull up on the head trigger at the same time. And that kind of makes it talk. And you'll get the feel for it. Uh, you also notice that if you just squeeze the beak to the head fast, opening, going up fast, already kind of automatically talks, opening the beak. Um, those are some basic, uh, the basic functionality of the puppet. I'm just going to um, move it around a little bit, demonstrate uh, some of the things that maybe you can do in space and as you're, you're exploring you'll, you'll find other things but here are some some ways that it can move around. See like the wings can spread out and I'm keeping pressure pushing up and you see actually see the rods bending like that. When I'm keeping pressure that helps keep keeps the wings spread out so they don't bend and fold backwards. Also it's kind of nice when it's flying to to tilt the head up and, and out and pull back on the handle so the head is kind of pointing out. That's a seagull puppet.